Did you know that Mars is the only planet in the solar system that is entirely populated by robots? That's right. Since the 1960s, NASA has sent a series of missions to explore the red planet and uncover its secrets. And what they've discovered is nothing short of incredible. In this video, we're going to take you on a journey through the incredible discoveries that NASA has made on Mars. We'll explore everything from the evidence of liquid water on the planet's surface to its fascinating geology and the ongoing search for signs of life. The discoveries that NASA has made on Mars are not only fascinating, but also incredibly important. They have helped us understand more about our solar system's history and the possibility of life beyond Earth. And who knows, the information gathered by NASA's missions could even help us plan a future manned mission to Mars. So, in this video, we'll be breaking down the most significant discoveries made by NASA on Mars and exploring what they mean for the future of space exploration. Get ready to be blown away by the wonders of this mysterious planet. In 2012, NASA made a groundbreaking discovery that could change our understanding of the universe forever. Evidence of liquid water on Mars was found by the Curiosity rover, making a significant milestone in space exploration. The discovery was made by analyzing rocks and soil in the Gale Crater, where the rover had landed. Curiosity used several methods to make this discovery, including the ChemCam, which performed the first laser testing on a rocket called N-165 located near Bradbury Landing. The team identified at least six possible routes to the base of Mount Sharp, Estimating about a year studying the rocks and soil of the crater floor while Curiosity slowly made its way to the base of the mountain. The ChemCam team took approximately one dozen compositional measurements of rocks per day. On September 27, 2012, NASA announced that Curiosity had found evidence of an ancient stream bed, suggesting a vigorous flow of water on Mars. This discovery was made possible by the discovery of the Hatath rock outcrop on Mars, an ancient stream bed viewed by the rover. The evidence suggested that water was once present on the Martian surface and it may have been flowing for an extended period of time. Subsequent discoveries by Curiosity have revealed more details about the Martian environment. On October 17, 2012, the first X-ray diffraction analysis of Martian soil was performed, revealing the presence of several minerals, including feldspar, pyrozines, and olivine. The analysis suggested that the Martian soil was similar to the weathered basaltic soils of Hawaiian volcanoes. On December 3, 2012, NASA reported that Curiosity performed its first extensive soil analysis, revealing the presence of water molecules, sulfur, and chlorine in the Martian soil. This discovery was exciting for scientists, as it provides a new avenue for exploration and understanding of the planet. The discovery on water on Mars brings us closer to answering the question of whether there is life on the planet and highlights the importance of space exploration and the search for life beyond Earth. Now, let's shift our focus to another important aspect of Mars, its atmosphere. Understanding the Martian atmosphere is crucial for comprehending the planet's past and future, including its potential to support human exploration and even colonization. NASA has found that the Martian atmosphere is mostly made up of carbon dioxide with smaller amounts of nitrogen and argon. There are also trace amounts of other gases, including water vapor and oxygen. Compared to Earth's atmosphere, Mars has a much thinner one, with a surface pressure less than 1% of Earth's value. This means that liquid water cannot exist on Mars' surface due to the low atmospheric pressure. However, Studies suggest that the planet's atmosphere was once much denser in the past. Mars' atmosphere is colder than Earth's due to its greater distance from the Sun. This results in a weaker greenhouse effect, which means that the Martian atmosphere is not as good at trapping heat as Earth's. This leads to a lower average temperature on Mars, which is about minus 63 degrees Celsius. The temperature on Mars can vary significantly from day to night, ranging from minus 103 degrees Celsius to near freezing in some regions. Dust devils and storms are common on Mars, and can even be seen from Earth. Planet-wide dust storms occur on average every 5.5 Earth years, and can affect the operation of Mars rovers. The Martian atmosphere is also an oxidizing atmosphere, which means that organic materials tend to be broken down into carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. 
Now that we've discussed Mars' atmosphere, let's move on to the planet's geology. Mars is a fascinating planet with a rich geological history that scientists have been studying for decades. NASA has used a variety of tools to learn about the planet's past, including orbiters, rovers, and landers. By studying the different types of geological features on Mars, scientists have been able to better understand the planet's history and its potential for supporting life. One of the most striking features of Mars is its hemispheric dichotomy, which is a difference in elevation and crustal thickness between the northern and southern hemispheres. The southern highlands are heavily cratered and ancient, while the lowlands north of the dichotomy boundary are smooth and flat, with few large craters. This suggests that the northern hemisphere has undergone extensive resurfacing, possibly due to volcanism or other geological processes. Scientists are still debating the origin of the hemispheric contrast. Some believe it was caused by a large impact or series of impacts early in the planet's history, while others suggest it was caused by mantle convection or other processes in the planet's interior. Whatever the cause, the dichotomy is extremely old and likely formed during the planet's earliest years. NASA has also identified quasi-circular depressions QCDs, on Mars, which are likely derelict impact craters from the period of heavy bombardment. These structures are now covered by younger deposits, making them difficult to see with traditional imaging methods. By using laser altimeters and radar sounders, scientists have been able to uncover these hidden features and learn more about the planet's past. These discoveries have led scientists to believe that Mars may have been habitable in the past and have motivated extensive research on the Red Planet in the hopes of finding evidence of past or present life. In March 2013, the Curiosity rover discovered that the conditions in Gale Crater were once suitable for microbial life. The rover found water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, as well as chloromethane and dichloromethane. This is really exciting because it suggests that Mars may have once been habitable. Scientists believe that there could be microbial-induced sedimentary structures on Mars, similar to those found on Earth. In 2014, NASA announced that the Curiosity and Opportunity rovers would be searching for evidence of ancient life, including a biosphere based on microorganisms. The search for evidence of habitability, taponomy, which is the study of what happens to plants and animals after they die and how they become fossils, and organic carbon on Mars is now a primary NASA objective. NASA has also found evidence of complex organic compounds on Mars, which are needed to sustain microscopic life. While this isn't proof of life, it's a promising sign. However, the search for life on Mars is challenging because of the harsh environment on the planet. It's unlikely that life could exist on the surface, and the presence of perchlorates, which are chemicals found in the soil on Mars that can break down organic molecules, makes it difficult to detect life-related organic molecules. Despite these challenges, NASA continues to search for evidence of life on Mars using a variety of methods. The Curiosity rover is analyzing rocks and soil samples, searching for seasonal variations in atmospheric methane, and investigating potential subsurface habitats where life could exist. In fact, on 17th January 2012, scientists reported finding an unusual signal of carbon isotopes on Mars, which may or may not be associated with ancient Martian life. They believe that microbes residing underground may have emitted the enriched carbon as methane gas, but abiotic sources of the unusual carbon signal have not been completely ruled out.